What is up, YouTube? Bunny from Super with a brand video. Today, I'll be explaining to you guys what each of the three pink balls hidden in the Woods R Us store ceiling do. And they each pl play a significant role in the game Lumber Tycoon 2. And before I start explaining them, let's get a look at what they look like in case you have never seen them, but they have been in the game ever since they it's been made. So if we can get up here, I can show you guys. There we go. So, there's not really a way to get to it, because it's hidden in the ceiling, and there you go, guys. Just on the right of your screen, you can see them, there's three of them. And, they're not any secret item or anything, they're just basically the things that make this game work. So, the first ball is, uh, the name of it in the studio is Log Models. That's the parent name. And basically what it does, it just manages all the loose limbs and branches of trees. So basically that tree in front of here, uh, that elm tree, that would be a, parent, uh, a child of the log models. And anything else that I chop, and it becomes an unanchored part. See, this is anchored right now. If I went to chop this and it'd fall over, it'd be unanchored. So then it'd become a child of the log models. And before I start explaining the rest of them, each of them is a placeholder. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> anyway, second ball, it manages uh, blacklisting and whitelisting. So if you want to blacklist someone, uh, when, you press the black, when you press their name in the blacklist thing, for example, I don't have a base loaded, but or a plot loaded, but if I went to blacklist cookies, then on my plot, if that was my plot, that would make several invisible walls go up surrounding my base or plot and making it not her not be able to enter. And also it is whitelisting and yeah. And the third ball is the most important one. It is basically the heart and soul of this game. It manages everyone's game everyone's plots. I was gonna say bases again, I'm sorry. So what it does, basically whenever you join a game and you press load for example, right now, load, let's load slot 4. If I went to load it, it'd be signaling to that ball, which I'm just going to call number, ball number 3. It just manages everyone's bases and player models. And the player models are just all the items on your base. So by loading, it just makes my uh, base load along with player models, which are the items like an axe or wood those are all examples of player models and the parent name is player model and basically my whole base everyone's base here is a child of that parent model or player model anyways guys make sure you like subscribe comment below that's it for me today and all these facts are 100 percent true um... cuz yeah they are and yeah they are 100 percent true guys so anyways, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for 2,240 subscribers. No, 3,240 subscribers. Thank you for that. And yeah, and sorry for my late, my previous video explaining or like saying that, oh my gosh, those pink balls are new because someone told me that they were, but they have always been there and without them, this game wouldn't work. So thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.